Good afternoon, my friends, and happy Sunday. I hope you all are doing well, and I hope you all got some rest over this weekend. I just left the gym. Well, I shouldn't say I. We just left the gym. I actually took Bianca home. That way I could record this video, and she's also preparing a delicious Sunday dinner for us later this evening, which I am very excited about. I really enjoy working out on Sundays. I feel like I get the best pumps on Sundays because the gym is never crowded on Sundays. It's a day for rest. It's the Lord's day. A lot of people are out grocery shopping and taking their kids to their sports activities and such while the fellows stay home and watch football. I'm not really into football as much anymore. I'll still watch every now and then, but I'm more of a basketball dude. But I'm in the car. It's another non-theme park video. There has been a lot on my mind and I just didn't know how to have this talk with you guys because I really did not understand my feelings on this subject matter. There's a few subjects that I want to discuss with you guys here today. I just felt like, are my feelings valid? You know, and I got to thank God for Bianca because not only is she always there for me, but she has been guiding me through life. She's so wise and I just am really thankful for her because I don't know. She's just taking great care of me lately. Let me go ahead and get going here. And if you are wondering why am I doing this in the car, well, I have the best ideas when I'm driving. I have the best thoughts when I'm driving. And just feel like I can be myself when I'm behind a wheel. I'm alone playing some music just in my thoughts you know if you watched my last video where I called Disney out on their BS for raising prices you should know that I'm not too happy with Disney right now I know a lot of you are not happy with Disney right now just because they continue to increase prices and they're pricing a lot of people out. You're not getting the value anymore. You're not getting that magic touch that only Disney can give you. I don't know what's going on. It's just, it's been very hard for me to go to Disney and act like it's all sunshine and rainbows. I don't have a great poker face. I never have. And you know, it shows on these videos what kind of mood I'm in. And I've been very bothered lately going to Disney because I always have that thought in the back of my head. How can I be here right now when there's so much happening in the world, but also the decisions that Disney has been going with lately? I mean, $5 for a bottle of Coke. Hotel rooms are outrageous. Park tickets are outrageous. Then you have all of the paid experiences and parking and it's just a lot. And something about me, and I'm sure most of you know this, is I am who I am. I say what I want to say. I wear my heart on my sleeves and Disney just has not been it lately. And I haven't been happy going to Disney for a long time now. But, you know, I started this YouTube channel mainly to document my experiences going to Walt Disney World on a daily and weekly basis. I started this channel when I first worked for the company in entertainment. I'm not sure if many of you know that, but yes, I did work for Disney World for about two and a half years. It's just hard, you know, I go to my comment section and I read these stories you guys post of your own personal experiences coming to Walt Disney World or how you just can't afford to come anymore. And it 
breaks my heart reading those comments. I think I have 1.4-ish comments on my latest video and you know, 95% of you guys agreed with everything that I stated. Of course, I had those few people who don't agree. I thought to myself lately, this has been on my mind for a while, is I think a good amount of you guys who are tuning in to my videos every time I post or just about every time I post, you guys are here to see Dev. You wanna see what I'm doing. You wanna see my thoughts and opinions. And I really do appreciate that because you guys are here for me. You're not here just to see me do these theme park things. And recently I went on YouTube and I just looked what the other theme park vloggers are doing lately and I can tell they're all burnt out. We're all running out of ideas because we're to the point where, at least I am, I'm going to speak for myself, where I feel like I'm repeating content and I don't like to repeat content, but it's just nothing new is happening. Nothing new is going to happen. I am looking forward to Jollywood nights at Hollywood Studios during the Christmas season. Yes, I will be going to that. I will do a full video. But I just don't want to repeat myself. I don't want to limit what I'm capable of doing. And I just want to start doing these videos for me. And that's why I started doing these YouTube videos for me. To document my experiences and the things I'm doing. That way I can look back in 10 or 20 years and show my future kids, hey, this is what I got to do. I can also share new things with you guys and that makes me so happy that I've built this audience over the last seven years and I know a good amount of you guys have been here since the beginning because when I read comments or if I meet you in the park you will tell me I've been here since the beginning and that's awesome that's so cool to me and thank you for sticking around but I just don't want to limit myself anymore I feel so limited being a theme park vlogger and you know some people may say I'm a Disney vlogger I'm not a Disney vlogger I really haven't been going to Disney this year because if I don't feel like motivated to do something or if I don't feel happy to do something it shows and I know to some people I come across as negative negative Nancy it's not that I'm negative or I'm complaining well yeah I am complaining because I don't like the direction Disney is going. I hate it actually. It's sickening. But it is what it is. There's nothing that I can do about it except be here for you guys and try to make a change and try to reach Disney. Like wake up. Your core fans are now turning on you. You know what's going to happen when Disney prices everybody out? and only the, the rich can afford to come. Well, Disney, you guys did that for the Galactic the Galactic Star Cruiser, and how did that turn out for you? Clearly, it's not working out. And I feel like you guys are punishing the core fans, and how can I go to the Disney theme parks and just be like, oh yeah, I'm happy to be here, and yada, 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 and look, at this new walkthrough attraction that should be at Animal Kingdom and it's just not so scary is exactly the same. The Christmas party is exactly the same. The Epcot food festivals are exactly the same. And that just goes back to what I was saying about repeating content. And I just, I'm, I'm done repeating content because it's not fun. And come the new year in 2024, I'm going to be changing everything. I just want to be Dev, and I want to do what Dev wants to do, period. And that's what I'm going to do. And I know a good amount of you guys are here just to see me, and you guys are excited for the future because, you know, I've been teasing it for a while. I've been kind of hinting 
sprinkling in different content ideas, more just life videos, more just showing me and Bianca and, you know, personal life and just what we do. And you guys really like that. And I really like that. Like going back to the generator when I was searching for a generator to purchase, you guys really helped me not only find the generator, but find everything else that I needed that I had no idea that I needed for a generator. And that's awesome. Same thing with like the vanity when we're at Ikea, you were like, get this, get that. I really appreciate it. And <laughs> I can't wait for the next lifestyle vlog where I can take you somewhere and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. I want this. What do you guys think? And I really enjoy reading the feedback from you guys. It's awesome. I don't think I can mentally do Disney anymore. And I'm sorry if I'm going to let some of you down. And I'm not saying I'm just not going to go to Disney anymore because when I feel like going, I will go. It may not be like the full tour guide dev like I usually am, but I'll still cover some things at Disney when I feel like it. I'm not going to be first. I'm not going to rush out and film a crappy video and upload it two hours later. I'm not doing that. That's never been me, but I just don't want the pressure anymore where I feel like I have to film this and then I have to go home. I got to put it together and edit it because it shows in the editing when you're watching the video when a creator rushes through something and, and that's not me. I don't want to rush through anything. I want to take my time, make sure it's great because I value my work. I value my content and I value when you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the like button because that shows me I'm doing something right and you guys enjoy that and that makes me so happy. But just going back to what I was saying about, I just, I can't do Disney anymore guys for my own mental health. It's draining right now. It really is. The community can be toxic at times and honestly, I just don't want any more part in that. And again, I just want to clarify, there will be times where I will show up to Disney, but it's not going to be like how it's been. I'm going to start filming in a way to be more relatable to you guys. And that's my whole thing going into 2024. I want to be more relatable. And you know, one comment that I keep thinking of is back when just recently, we, we stayed at the Grand Californian Hotel and one of you guys left a comment saying, I love you, Dev, I, I love the content you provide, but this is something that me and my family can never do. And that comment really stuck with me for weeks. I'm like, crap, you're right. Why am I doing this when a lot of you can't do it. I don't want to be that creator who just, I hate to use the word flex or, or show off, but I, I, I'm not that person. And I will never be that person because I am truly blessed and I'm so grateful for everything that I have in my life. And here in a few months, I will be 30 years old. I cannot believe it. Time is just flying by. It really is. And it's quite scary how, how fast life has been going by. I don't want to be going into my thirties where I was in my twenties. And that's why I've been working out so hard because when I turn 30, I want to go into my thirties looking the best I've ever looked. And I'm doing that right now. I'm in the best shape I've ever been. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I just love life. I value every day that I get to walk this planet because every day is not promised. And I mean, going back to another reason why I just can't go to Disney right now is everything that's happening across the world. You know, this crap is happening that you I remember reading back when I was in school in history class about war, and here we are living in it right now. And I just, it makes me depressed. It really does. I just, people are dying, and I'm not going to get political because, you know, you, you didn't click on this video for that. 
it's just depressing and I can't do it anymore and I'm not going to do it anymore and going back to every day is not promised it's not and I hope this hits at least one person watching this right now you know if you're not happy with something you're doing in your own life maybe it's time for a change and it can be the smallest change you can wake up and when you're putting on your shoes if you start with your right foot maybe start with your left foot you know it's a change or start working out start doing something you want to do it's worked for me you know I can think back in 2021 I was so depressed I was so over everything I didn't know where my life would take me anymore and then you know I just had a conversation with myself and I had conversations with Bianca and we just came to the conclusion maybe it's time for a life change and we started going to the gym we started eating healthy <laughs> I mean we're living life now baby we're happy we're blessed we feel great we look great there's nothing for me to complain about and you know I let it all out in that last video about Disney just done man I don't want to keep repeating myself and I don't want to do something that I'm not happy with doing I want this channel I want my videos to be uplifting and positive I want you guys to be entertained every single second of my new video and that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the year I'm still going to do theme park content there's going to be a lot more universal content than Disney I don't even know when I'll be going back to Disney honestly I know I will be back for Jollywood nights but that's not for a while so you know don't be mad at me I know some of you will some of you may unsubscribe it is what it is I think it's time for me to honestly just find a new audience and discover a new chapter in my career in my life and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sprinkle new content in until January the 1st and we're gonna start off the new year with a bang I've been teasing we have so many cruises coming up in 2024 so if you're here for theme park not theme park content man I'm going crazy if you're here for cruising content you are going to be happy next year we have some big cruises coming up I, I'm so dang excited to cruise next year and then just trying out new ideas and show more of my life and and just try out these ideas that I've been thinking for all of these months and I'm gonna do that by the way I'm seeing so many Teslas here in Orlando I love it so much it's crazy I've sold 10 Teslas with my referral code which if you have ordered a Tesla from me thank you so much I hope you're enjoying it my referral code will be down in the description below honestly just go test drive a Tesla because you guys won't understand why I love my Tesla so much until you drive one we were at mall at millennia the other day and that mall does not have like a Tesla location they just had one employee at the food court and they had like six different models of Tesla's and they were just letting people drive them but yeah I know some of you don't like when I talk Tesla but that's content that will be coming not all the time maybe like once every two weeks or maybe once a month I don't really know there's a Model S right there um, but yeah more Tesla content is coming your way more life videos are coming your way of course you will still have your theme park content again more universal than Disney and more traveling I just want to travel and do what we got to do and that's what we're going to do we've had many discussions about the future of the channel not only the channel but just our life like what do we want well there's a model x i love a model x that will definitely be my next car one day always have a goal because my goal for the last five years was to own a tesla and man i busted my butt to own this tesla i had to do what I had to do there was many sleepless nights there was a lot of hard work but you know what I did it and I want you guys to know if you want something in life you can have it you just have to work hard and I feel like a lot of people 
forget what hard work is like. You gotta work hard every day. If you don't work hard, you're not going to be going anywhere. Your life will be stale, you know? Don't you want to keep going up in life? That's what I want, at least, I mean. But yeah, those are my thoughts, you know? I want you guys to leave me some comments down below and you know, I'm not looking for you guys to feel some type of way for me because this is not what this video is about. This video is just me venting to you guys, me sharing what's been on my mind lately because a lot has been on my mind and I feel like I've been leaving you guys hanging a bit as far as videos. I've been uploading two to three videos a week. I honestly would like to upload at least three to four videos a week. And that's going to be the plan. Oh, I can't go this way. Winter Park can be so confusing at times. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm also going to restructure my Patreon because I've had some crazy ideas go through my head over the last few weeks and I've actually teased a little bit on my patreon so if you're a patreon member check that out but i have some big things coming for the patreon like our wedding we are finally planning our wedding we haven't really done much yet but we've been putting things in place and i'm excited to share that chapter with you guys and that's going to be a patreon only exclusive benefit and we're going to have like dev and bianca after dark and um, more more life stuff will be on Patreon. So if you guys want to be a part of that, um, definitely check out my link down below. We're just going to switch some things up. You know, I don't want to be stale anymore. I don't want to be repeating myself. I feel like lately I'm going to these theme parks and it's just the same stuff. Like, hey, look, this is new. This is new. Oh, I didn't notice that. Look at this new t-shirt. Look at this new cupcake. I'm done with that. I really am done with that. And I hope you guys can understand I love Winter Park if you guys are looking to move down here in Florida check out Winter Park I honestly want to purchase a home here in Winter Park one day and you know that's a goal of mine and plus it's away from the traffic and the tourists and even like Altamont Springs Sanford is out here downtown Orlando but yeah that's what we're doing I think I'm going to turn around here and go pick up sushi for myself and Bianca because I feel like after the workout we've been doing lately, especially today, we deserve a little, little sushi. I can't believe I'm eating sushi and fish nowadays and that's all Bianca. She, she really puts me on to the seafood and I fell in love with it. Plus. There's so much really good protein and nutrients inside of fish and stuff like that. So check that out. Give it a try. Open your taste buds. And I feel like that's just something else of getting older where you expand your taste buds. And I love that. I love that a lot. Let's see. Do I have anything else? I mean, I guess something I could share with you guys is I have officially hit my goals in the gym during my cut so I've slimmed down a lot but now I am officially bulking and if you guys don't know what bulking is when you're in this fitness journey you can either cut maintain or bulk cutting is when you're eating less but you're getting your definition you're taking shape maintaining is you just you love your appearance and you you just want to maintain what you have and you just got to keep eating and doing the same workouts I guess I don't really maintain but now I'm in a bulk where I'm eating a ton more like carbs I'm eating so many carbs now where carbs just go right into your muscles and make you look bigger I love it but I'm able to eat kind of not really whatever I want you know I'm still I still have to be good there's some days where I'll go have a cheeseburger or some fried food and it's delicious but yeah, I'm bulking up now, which is going to lead to me getting bigger, my appearance becoming more wider. And then when I'm ready to go back on a cut, which will probably be around my birthday, maybe, um, I will shred all of that weight off and I'll have even more crazy 
definition. Can't wait for that. But I think that's it. I think that's all that I wanted to talk about with you guys. And seriously, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have made it this far in the video, you guys are the MVPs and I love you guys so much. And every comment that you leave, every like, every share, just everything, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Because I guess let's be honest here. I do this YouTube thing pretty much full time. I am looking to make some investments coming up where I can make these investments because of YouTube and you guys and being able to drive my dream car, being able to make sure my bills are paid. And I'm just thankful. I'm just truly blessed. And I want you guys to know that I just, I'm just very thankful for what I have. And I'm thankful that I, you know, have enough money to pay my bills and to invest in other things. And it's awesome. And I just want you guys to know when you work hard at something, you will be rewarded. And yeah, I don't know what the future holds, but I will be trying new things. I will be going on new adventures. I will not be leaving you guys hanging. Don't worry, but a lot of fun is coming up. Stay tuned. I know I've said I'm getting back on track here. And now that I've had this talk, I feel good about it. Today I was going to go out to Universal to make a video, which I think I will at some point this week. Probably, yeah, this week I'll be at Universal and some other things happening. And I'm glad I was able to make this video. But yeah, I am um, heading on I-4 now. I'm gonna make a stop here at the sushi place. And that's all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. Love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. I'm looking for a new outro saying. I'm kind of, I'm done with the PC and Prince Charming. So expect a name change and a slight logo change here soon. Plus new merchandise coming very soon. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.